Hey guys, this is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting <laughs> to episode 11 of Sorry, I'm slipping into the stupid. I'm trying on Stampede. It's gonna get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Make them shots count, babe. <laughs> like, you go to Walmart and you're trying to, oh, dang. <laughs> You're trying to pass someone in their shot. You just did it. <laughs> oh, the fangirls for knives are going nuts over this.
but still this isn't right but we're, we're we're saying screw it we're doing it anyway Oh, this some get out type shit. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Fucking with your mind. Yes. Mm -hmm. Of course, because he's different. Duh. killing him we don't want to kill him i don't want y'all to kill him now if by the power of meryl he wakes up <laughs> that means my ship is scattered but of course it's probably not gonna happen this week It's so fucked up that they killed him. The transitions. Ooh. Oh. Once again, the fangirls are going nuts. Mm-hmm. Is how is he going to wake himself up? I mean, it's only he would even he wakes himself up or Meryl keeps like calling to him like a voice and so that he hears her and then he wakes up. It's <laughs> like, like, so Oh my god, you're making a hard moment.
Oh God, we really doing this? Jesus, it's gonna hurt. Oh. Oh. <laughs> From Can we kill him now? Because he over here dying and coughing and she is time to go. <laughs> like, boom, <bam>, gone. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, of course, that's why he still has it in his mind. And go in there, but I mean, we have to for the sake of the plot, but still. No, not really. We don't need to know what Rem's hiding, okay? Mm -mm. Of course, everything classified. 
Oh. This is what happens when you snoop over your boundaries. She in there. Oh. Hold up. Was that somebody's stomach? The eye was the most creepiest part, but still was not imagining seeing a stomach or a liver, whatever that was. But the detail on it, though, Jesus. He might say yeah, but inside, it's all no. So <laughs> One, two. Not the fucking coat, oh my god.
But pretty. But like, still, this is sad, but pretty! Yeah, he dying. We always come back here. Every anime! Oh my god! <laughs> We have to wait a whole week. It's like Don Machi all over again. I can't wait a whole week for the finale. Even though before this, I watched the preview. And I'm a little confused on that preview. I'm going to have to rewatch that again. But it's just, it's not funny. This is now what, the third or fourth or fifth anime that has now decided to use that area that is a real life area in anime again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> because it was, it's worse when Pretty Here did it first. And... When I saw it the first time, I was like, oh my god, it's that one place that I want to go to. And then, oh my god, when you realize you've seen it in one of your personal favorite games of all time. And you're just like, yeah, I still want to go there. And it just makes it worse. So freaking bad. That's a goal. Because that place is so freaking beautiful. It just feels like freaking heaven in a nutshell. But we'll never know. But Jesus. Okay. I was ready for Meryl to, like, literally shoot the doctor, like, straight up, but I feel like the reason why they possibly made her not to do it is because they're leading up to something next week for her. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure because a lot of us were, especially with the preview, expecting her to do something out of her range she's never really done. Yes, Meryl is a badass character. We all know that, especially if you've seen the original series and such. Um, but now that Vash is what I like to say, should we say chronosasis? Can I say that? Like, I mean, he, he sleep, he, he knocked out, and he, he, he just impregnated the other plants. So, <laughs> I just over here like, what? <laughs> that happened. Mm. Um, how, once again, how in the world are you going to wake him up? That's the biggest question. And so that's what, like, where, okay, no, 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 Let, let's say this. So when I watched the preview... If you follow me on Twitter, like, I instantly quote tweeted the damn thing and was like, this is giving me feels towards Akudama Drive, especially, like, the last two episodes. And it just, like, that's not, it's a good feeling, but it's a bad feeling at the same time and such. If you know how much that show means to me and how I felt with the last two, well, how I felt overall with the show and what, um, freaking Kodaka if you know Kanaka and what he did with his characters, because it was very obvious from the get-go, even though you were like, I don't want him to do this with these two, but he did it with everyone except the the other two because they're kids and he there's like a boundary that he has with little, little kids and such. Um, So I was sitting here thinking, when I looked at it, I was like, why am I getting these feels? Why do I feel like someone's going to die? And it, and it kind of gives you that. Now, Vash is still in his quantostasis sleep mode and such. 
So we know he's got to wake up. But at the same time, like, is Knives dying next week? Is anyone else dying next week? I, I don't want to go into the finale next week with anybody else dying. Maybe except Knives and, you know, the guy who's also been watching Knives. Because, of course, it's obvious that he's going to die regardless. So, two, I feel like, <laughs> Nicholas, he is going to come in very last minute. My biggest thing is, why didn't Meryl, like, she sees he's in a tank. We already know, number one, we can't shoot the tank because it's bulletproof. She could have ran up somewhere where he was dumped in, swam her way down there just to do something. I mean, I would do it because, remember, she loves him. That's the biggest thing at the end of the day. She loves him. And she will do anything for Bash. And if it is sacrificing herself for him to wake up, which we just, we hope that doesn't happen, she will do it because she loves him so very much. But the transitions, again, in this episode, mwah, like, uh, chef's freaking kiss. Oh, my God. Y'all went, they went in today. But, I mean, of course, because, duh. But I, I'm not, a, <laughs> I'm, I'm a little scared for next week, of course. I mean, you end kind of on a cliffhanger, as the show always has been. But it, it's also just, like, reminding you how I felt this last week with Don Machi and thinking, like, okay, how's the finale going to go? I'm scared and such. This could go so many freaking ways. But once again, here we go again. Scared, but another show that his say is in. Like, God dang it. Give me that happy ending next week. That's all I want. I just want my babies to be together. That's all. Please. But other than that, guys, that's my reaction to towards episode 11 of Trigon Stampede. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos. Holy shit. <laughs> Every single day. Join Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for the final episode. Bye, guys.